Our story begins at the turn of the 20th century, when space travel was invented as fantasy. In a movie by George Melies, A Trip to the Moon, space is a tourist destination. And in the H.G. Wells novel, The War of the Worlds, aliens invade Earth from Mars. This story inspired a scientist named Robert Goddard. Goddard was really a dreamer. He became obsessed with the idea of how could you develop a technology to go into space. Goddard designed the first rocket powered by liquid fuel. He experimented at his Aunt Effie's farm without much success. But in 1928, this odd-looking design, known as the hoop skirt rocket, finally changed all that. It took off. Well, almost. Goddard was a much better tinkerer and scientist than he was an engineer. The neighbors thought so too, especially after he set Aunt Effie's farm on fire. People were ridiculing him, but there were also incredible amounts of enthusiasm. People wrote to him and said, I'm volunteering for the first trip to the moon. Goddard didn't live to realize his dreams, but in the hands of later engineers, the liquid-fueled rocket would turn out to be a visionary idea. Two, one, and liftoff. And because it put humans on the moon, some scientists believe liquid fuel has what it takes to get us to Mars. 